Okay, take two. Let's let's try this again. So, we're driving in the Tesla, and uh, we got a little freaked out with uh, the first use of the autonomous drive. And I must admit, I was more freaked out than than Lauren. So we're gonna ride ahead, ride ahead, Lauren. There, it just uh, went boom, boom. So now it's an autonomous drive. Even though her hands are safely on the wheel, she doesn't actually uh, doing anything. Her foot can be completely off the uh, off the pedal. I went right ahead and put it on the floor when I tried it, oh, so you can do whatever you like. Yeah, that'll just make it worse. <laughs> okay, so I think where we made the mistake last time, and we're going to try it again anyway, is the little Easter egg that they just downloaded. So, Here right ahead. One, two, three, four. No, no, I did it wrong. One, two, three, four. There you go. It's, it's attempting to find the uh, the middle in reference to the uh, to the lane markers, and that's what it's what it's doing. So no, now she's got her foot near the brake, <laughs> and here we're going around the corner. <laughs> And is she trusting it? Yes, she is. Not trusting that van, though. It's over the line. You know, and that's the one thing about autonomous drive, though, is if it sees, if it sees, uh, you know, now did you just? Uh, I did not do it. It did it himself. Okay, so it corrected itself when it saw. Um, the fact that the line was disappearing, so it made, made its way back to the left. So we're just heading up 29 here. Alright, so why don't you try... I even touch it. Why don't you it's try uh, making a lane change and see what it does? All right, I want this car to pass. Well, it, but it's not going to change the lane right in front of the, the car. Okay. So, so let's just see what it just does. There's no cars behind that car. Oh my god! <laughs> and it just changed lanes. That is so weird. And it did it smoothly. Yes, it did. Unlike uh, our test drive in the Model S, or at least uh, Mom's in my test drive in the Model S, where it seemed to do it a little abruptly, but that's probably because there was a lot more traffic on the road. So, if this car in front of us came uh, into our lane and slowed down, and there we go we're again. doing it again. Okay, since we're going speed limit, we should stay in the slow lane. Uh, well, we're actually going 57. Yeah, and a 55. Oh, no. Yeah. It's interesting. So it set the speed limit to what I was going when I went into um, autopilot. Autonomous? Yeah, okay. autonomous. So whatever you're currently going at, we'll, that's what it'll set to its max. And again, if we wanted to, we could come up here and actually slow the car down a little bit by hitting the plus or minus on the uh, touch screen. And it just slowed down to 55. 
So, have you gotten used to it yet? Yeah, actually, this is really interesting. It's weird to be going so slow, though. <laughs> but, as a caveat, this is one of uh, the temporary licenses or, or uh, uh, test periods. We did not buy the autonomous drive to begin with, and they're giving us this 14-day uh, test period to try it out. So this is uh, this is our attempt. And it's still a rainbow road. We just don't have any cowbell. <laughs> see what, what it does on the corner. Luckily, the road is well marked with very visible lines, which helps uh, the car center itself within the lane. much say that this has been a uh, interesting and uh, at least this time a stress-free uh, experience. Later. <laughs>